Welcome to my presentation about the MBS FileMaker plugin. My name is Christian Schmitz and I'm the main developer for MonkeyPad software. This year is special again. We have no in-person conferences and so we have no booths this year. But still we want to present to you, so we made this video. Instead of showing you everything we have, we want to give you an update what happened in the last year. We added about 300 new functions to the MBS plugin and want to give you an overview of the highlights on what's new. If you like to get an overview over what the MBS plugin can do, please watch the video from last year where we made a detailed presentation about what the plugin can do for you. The MonkeyPred software FileMaker plugin has been in development for 15 years now. We got over 6000 functions for you and that's because someone like you needed them. We added over 100 new functions this year already and we have over 600 example databases. For a lot of things you may just get the example, look how the script works, copy it over to your solution and just get started right away. Our plugin is delivered as one file. This makes the installation very easy and only the parts used are actually in memory. So the memory usage of our plugin is very low and once you start using it more and more, more parts get loaded. It's easy to install and you can actually script that with the install plugin file script step and please check our install plugin update if needed example database which as the name says, shows you how to install the plugin if it's missing or outdated. We support FileMaker 8 and newer. The plugin may even run on FileMaker 7 on Windows, but well, most customers are already on version 19 nowadays. We added support for FileMaker 19 with our version 10.2 and recently we added support for FileMaker 19.2 for our 11.2 release. Since FileMaker is changing quickly nowadays, we have to follow closely. The MBS plugin can be used on the whole FileMaker platform. This includes FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Server on all the operation system, macOS, Windows and Linux. You can use the plugin with perform script on server, scheduled scripts and web direct. The plugin can be used with the older FileMaker Cloud and you can use it with the FileMaker iOS SDK if you want to build your own iOS app. For FileMaker Go or Data API scripts, you can use perform script on server to use the plugin on the server. And for the newer FileMaker Cloud, you can always use the plugin on FileMaker Pro. We have an example to create barcodes on the server from FileMaker Go. And for the data API, there is a feature request to allow plugins be used in the data API process. And we hope to see that soon in our future Claros FileMaker version. Let's talk about a few general points of the plugin. So we have just one MBS function to call because fitting 6000 functions in the script editor wouldn't work. And the first parameter is always the function name, which can come from a calculation or a field on your layout. So you can have the user pick what functions to use, for example, which graphic effect from a pop-up menu. Every function may return an error, so please check the status with the isError function, which tells you per script if the last function call was returning an error. 
this is better than just checking the actual result. Then we use a lot of reference parameters. So if you pass a JSON, for example, you get back a reference number, which you then pass to the other functions like JSON format and JSON release. And the release call is important to free up the memory and avoid a memory leak. Now let's go into some actual functionality. So we have sharing services for macOS, where you can pass some style text or picture to the operation systems, show a sharing menu, or you pick something in code and then pass the data on to share it. This may allow you to send a text message from FileMaker or an email with the Apple Mail application. Can pass attachments for the email as well as style text, which is then sent as an HTML email. Today already the MBS plugin ships with Intel and Apple Silicon code in one plugin file. You can just install the plugin and if the day comes where you update your FileMaker version to a native one on your M1 Mac, you will benefit from our plugin being native and get a higher speed. If you need to know whether the current platform you are running on is using ARM instruction set, you can just check our system info is ARM function. And if you want to know whether you are running on an Intel app in Rosetta, you can check our system info is translated function. And if you use the FileMaker iOS SDK to build an app and then run this app, this iOS app on macOS, you can use system info is iOS app on Mac to check if that's true. So you may use your iOS apps on the Mac and detect the state. Our MBS plugin supports Linux for a few years already. You can use it on the older FileMaker Cloud for AWS. And if you run an on-premise FileMaker server on Linux with CentOS or in the future with Ubuntu, you can use our plugin just like on Windows or MacOS. We have a few extensions for the web viewer, like filling form fields, running JavaScript, or getting the content of the web viewer, like creating a PDF of your web viewer content. We got a function to create a custom web viewer managed by the plugin on top of your layouts, which doesn't reload if you switch records and is independent of what FileMaker does. So you can use a web viewer for navigation or just have a web viewer to do some JavaScript inside. The MBS plugin can create web viewers on macOS with WebKit 1 or 2. On iOS you get always WebKit 2 and on Windows we fall back to the Internet Explorer engine. With our C library and C function functionality we have the ability to load a DLL on Windows, a Dialib on Mac, or a shared object on Linux. Look for the functions, call the functions, and give you back the result. This allows you to integrate with a library written for C. This is a great use with an SDK, where you may get a device and a DLL to control it, and you can actually call the functions directly from FileMaker with the help of our plugin. If you like to audit your database and store records about who made what change, you can use our audit functions. We extended them in the last year to include repeated fields and we also got an option with uh, audit.set more repetitions to actually disable that. Otherwise we would recognize all the repeated field values and look for changes there. And our audit functions got upgraded so we can now even 
lock all the changes with your emojis, which basically means we have now better Unicode support. The curl library itself is used by FileMaker for insert from URL, and you may be familiar with a few uses of that. With the MBS plugin you can do a little bit more. This includes up and downloads with HTTP, FTP and SFTP protocols. And the MBS plugin can do background transfers, so you don't need to block the user interface while the transfer is running. We have proper TLS on proxy support, so you can do that. And if you like, you can also send and receive emails. We do have a nice IMAP video on our website where we show you our example for reading emails and displaying them, which is a little bit tricky. You can use system certificates if you like to verify whether a domain certificate is valid or you provide your own root certificates to validate against. And those SSL certificates can now be provided as blobs so you can put them in a container field, either as a file or as plain text. And the plugin can load those and use them for the validation of the SSL certificates. And when we lock errors, we now lock also the curl version with it. So we better know which version you are using. The MBS plugin can do various encryption and hash algorithms like AES-256 to encrypt your data and you can just pass in for example a container, get it encrypted, pass it over the internet and then on the other side decrypt it. The encryption is compatible to what other libraries do, so you can for example encrypt in PHP and decrypt in FileMaker. Recently we got our Base64 encoding which allows us to create JSON Web Token authentication with both RSI and secure hashes. The MBS plugin can use Java if you like. It's optional and works with several Java versions, basically all Java versions from the last 10 years. You can load a Java class look for the methods, look for the classes, you can even define a class, store it in a container, load it at runtime, find the class, call a method, exchange some data, and this is a great way to interface with some Java classes made by other people, like for banking software. The MBS plugin comes with functions to configure the toolbars, in FileMaker on MacOS, and this allows you to switch the configuration, like you may have a XML definition of what buttons are visible, and then you can switch on and off buttons by changing the configuration. In the last year we added the toolbar display mode, so you can decide whether you want to have icons, text, or icon and text. We also have the possibility to configure the toolbar menu, so you can decide whether the user has the possibility to customize the toolbar and we highly recommend you look into that because the user may add back a button to the toolbar with this little pop-up menu that you disabled before. And you can finally also do your own toolbar buttons if you like, like our, our example there with uh, the MBS logo in the in the toolbar. And if you click on the custom toolbar buttons, you get a script triggered so you can do whatever you like to do. Next, we have JSON functions. The MBS plugin comes with over 80 JSON functions. On the right on the picture, you see that we format JSON and colorize it. And we also have a nice function to convert. JSON on the fly to HTML and this can be shown in a web viewer on the layout so you can have maybe some debug screen for you as a developer to see the JSON nicely formatted, maybe even added with line numbers as we have a function for that too. 
and then you can analyze your JSON and read what the server returns. We also have functions to convert between JSON and XML, which can be very handy if a web service returns XML and you like to use FileMaker's JSON functions to work with it. We recently embraced JSON a little bit more by adding new functions which return JSON or use JSON as a data format. For example, you can get a file listing as JSON with details for every file. We have some CUPS functions to work with printers, which can now return you the list of printers or jobs as JSON. And for the SQL functions to other databases, you can pass the values for fields and parameters as JSON or get back as JSON. And for Dyna PDF, we added functions to query the content of a PDF and give it back as JSON, like the images, the form fields, the bookmarks, and other information like fonts. The MBS plugin can show a text view on the FileMaker layout, which is completely independent of what FileMaker does. And with that uh, text view. We can work on the content. We can set or get it a style text, HTML, plain text, RTF. We can enable spell checking. We can use formatting features. On this way, you can have your user enter maybe some text, benefit from the spell checking from the system, and then copy the content into a FileMaker field. The next thing is a nice example project we include with the plugin. We can run a database design report or run a save as XML command by controlling the menu commands and using the save dialog for you. So the plugin scripts the export and then you can use the XML functions in the plugin to split the XML file into sub XML files, like make an XML file for each script or each layout, and then you can put this folder into your version tracking like Git and enjoy the tracking of your changes so you can monitor them over several months and over your various project stages. And on our website there's a little video showing you how this works. The MES plugin has system information functions, which allow you to query information about the operation system, version, what platform you are on, and much more. And this now includes some new functions, which all return some JSON. So you can get your app usage statistics and learn how much memory FileMaker is using on Mac. You can get the CPU load on a Mac too. For Linux, we recently got a new function to return you the memory statistics for the computer and also the CPU load, so you can monitor how much memory is available on your Linux server. For Windows, we also got functions to detect CPU types and especially detect emulation, like running a 32-bit version on a 64-bit operation system. And you may learn how many CPU cores you have. We also have generic functions to query the CPU account. Then we have drag and drop features. As you may know, the plugin can have a drop control where you can just drop in files from Finder or Explorer or from other applications like Outlook. You may know that FileMaker doesn't accept attachments dropped from Outlook on a container field, but our plugin can do that. With the uh, last year, we got the Attach to Window function, which allows you to put a wall um, drop area on a full window. So you can drop the file anywhere in the window and get your script triggered and decide what to do. This, of course, works with multiple files. And with the uh, last year, we added the function to allow you to actually drag from our control. So you can define which file to pass to the finder if the user drags from your control. Apple has some nice frameworks to allow you to detect data in text. 
This is used in Apple Mail as well as Safari to find emails, URLs, addresses and dates in text. And I highlighted in this example here the items we can find like phone numbers, timestamps, URLs. And you might write yourself with text and it can be very useful to just pass through some email text and see if you find something. With image capture functions on macOS, we have the possibility to scan image from flatbed scanners. I may note that we also have something for Windows with our Windows image accretion functions. In the last year, we added functions to import pictures from a digital camera. So you may want to connect your camera to a Mac, then you can request tethering and then have a button in FileMaker, take a picture on your digital camera and you get a script trigger for when a new picture was taken so you can directly download it into your FileMaker database. We have a few functions for Windows especially and I want to highlight that we still support Windows 7 and newer with our plugins and our plugin now requires the Visual Studio Runtime Library 2015, but we highly recommend that anyone installing those libraries takes the newer installer which for Microsoft, which installs version 15, 17 and 19, so you get them all, and in future we may require newer libraries. We added the location functions for Windows, so you can actually query the physical location of your computer and get a GPS coordinate if the computer has something like that, but some Surface books may have it. And we got a new function which again uses JSON to get you a Windows list for all the windows on your computer so you can check if a certain window is open in another application. We have barcode functions and we can create over 80 types of barcodes and recognize a dozen types. And we got an example for European payment codes to put on your invoices. Like in, in Europe it's a common thing that you put a QR code on your invoice and then the user can take his online banking app, scan the QR code and get all the details for the transaction pre-filled and can just say send the money. While we are at online banking, we also got IBAN functions. So international bank account numbers are a common thing, at least in Europe. And we have functions to validate those numbers, to format them, to calculate the checksum, get you some regular expressions to find IBANs for various countries in different formats and we can provide a per country example IBAN and we have a list of over 100 countries where we have support for the IBAN format. The MBS plugin comes with JavaScript functions so we can run JavaScript with or without the web viewer and with our engine to run JavaScript without the web viewer, you can even use it on the server in a server side script. This may be great to use some existing JavaScript to calculate checksums or to do some processing of text and JSON. We recently added a new function to initialize models and define your own models, which then can be loaded later with the require function. This allows you to modularize your solution even more. And if you're looking for some example with JavaScript, we got the lib phone number example where we can use a JavaScript library to actually validate and format phone numbers. We have SQL functions to connect to other databases. And this includes an even longer list of database targets like MySQL or Postgres or Microsoft SQL Server. We recently added the Unicode libraries for SQLite and enabled JSON math and GeoPoly extensions. So within 
SQL commands running on a SQLite database, you can directly use those functions. We added support for DuckDB database and we got some improvements for the use of encrypted connections to MySQL or MariaDB, two of the most common database types. For SQL within FileMaker, you may know that we have a lot of utility functions to insert, update or delete records without layout switches. If you got a record set with our plugin functions in, in memory, you can extract it now as XML records and pass it to a SOAP service, or you can get JSON values and there we got a newer work function to get you a column as JSON instead of the full records. But check out the other functions to write CSV text files, for example. We got functions to read and write archives in different formats, like zip files. And recently we added a new function to extract a single file from an archive and give it back as a container value so you can directly put it in a container field. Other way around, we got a function to take the content of a container field, compress it as a new archive and return you that file. So for example, if you have some text file in a container and you like to send it by email, you can run it through compression. Then we have a list dialog functionality, where we, we can show you a list dialog with several columns and we recently added headings, alignment and column width for the dialog. You may have multiple selection if you like and we added a search field. For our DynaPDF functionality for working with PDF documents, we added support for the newer SUGFIRT 2.1 and FactorX standards. So you can create your invoices as PDF documents with embedded XML. A newer function allows you to insert barcodes as vector graphics in your PDF documents. And our functions to print a PDF document to a printer on Windows got new options for coll collate and copies. If you like to sign your PDF documents, you can now use longer keys. And also we have this little extensions to get you a uh, signature appearance on the PDF documents so the user can see right away whether the certificate is valid. For tables in PDF documents, we got a new function to pass style text directly from a field in FileMaker into the cell. So you can use your style text when you fill table cells. We have the optimize command to create smaller PDF documents or to just rebuild them and remove some errors. And this function got a newer feature to convert the content of a document into a different color space like CMYK. We got a newer extensions for multi-column output. So you can not just pass text to DynaPDF to convert the styles from FileMaker to the DynaPDF syntax, but also we can now include a page break expression, which is a little expression in FileMaker, which allows you to define what to do when the current text box is full. And in our example, we just create a new text box on the same page, or if the page is full, make a new page and then start again with the left column. As you may know, we have functions to read and write Excel files using libxl. And there we got newer features to copy a whole column of values from one sheet to another sheet or within the same sheet and also copy cell values from one cell to another cell, which also can be a different document. We have a convenient function to read 
cell values and get it back as a file maker data type. So if the cell contains a number, you get back a number, and if it contains text, you get back text. And if it contains a date, you may get back a date value in FileMaker. You have now the possibility to add data validation rules for your sheets, and Excel will then validate the data when you open the document there. We added a few utility functions in the last year, and this includes our format number function, which allows you to format a number in a certain format, independent of what localization you have in FileMaker. For example, you can decide whether you want to use a comma or a dot as a decimal separator, and how many digits you want to have after the decimal separator. With the norm inf functions in our plugin, you can do the same calculation as in Excel. So if you need to transfer some formulas and you are missing another function, please let us know. We can add a lot of more math functions if needed. We also got a utility functions to list all the processes on a Mac or Windows PC. So you can look if another application is running while your solution is working. For iOS, we got a special feature to use the Quick Look Preview Panel to mark up a document. So you can have a picture or a PDF document in a container. You can show the preview and then allow the user to actually make changes, maybe write a little bit on your PDF or draw something. And then you get a script trigger when the user presses the Save button and you can pick up the new PDF and store it in your container field. We have a few enhancements within FileMaker. As you may know, we have syntax colorizing and search features, and we recently got new shortcuts. So in the script workspace, if you press Command Shift F, you jump to the search field from FileMaker on the left side to search for a script. If you press Command F, you jump to our search box to search within the current script. Then we have the shortcut in the data viewer. So if you click on the data viewer, please click on the title bar to bring it to the front, then click on the list to set the focus there, and you see a blue line around. And then you can press Command Shift G to hide the global variables. And if you press Command Shift F, you can hide the global fields. And if you have a lot of global fields or global variables, you may be happy to hide those and see your local variables. And for the script workspace, we also got the feature that you can click with the option key pressed on the little gear for the set field or set variable script steps, and the plugin then jumps you right into the calculation part of this script step. If you like to use dark mode in FileMaker, we recently updated the color scheme we use for our plugins. So please check our dark mode blog post about the details. And you may also use our syntax coloring factory false functions if you haven't used it for in a long time to reset to the current color scheme, which may be better than um, some older schemes. If you have some custom definitions for your own colors, you may apply them then again. In the dialog to edit a custom function, we added uh, new buttons where you can check the syntax of your custom function as well as run a test case. So we made a little trick there that we allow you to define in a comment with three slashes an uh, assignment and the plugin will execute the assignment and then call the custom functions with those values so you can get the result right away in the little text box we have there. Same for a lot of calculation dialogues in FileMaker where we allow you to check the syntax or evaluate the current expression to see what it returns.
we got a nice enhancement for the FileMaker debugger where we can evaluate user value of a variable or of a field and show it to you in a little tooltip. So if you hover your mouse over one of those, you may see the value shown by the plugin and this may be easier than looking for the value yourself in the data viewer. The MBS plugin can highlight matching brackets in a calculation. So when you click on, on a bracket, the plugin may show you which is the matching bracket for it. It checks different types of bracket and it has a mode where it is inside a text or outside a text. So if you have SQL commands, you may also enjoy those bracket matching functions. If you like to learn more about the MBS plugin, please visit our website. We also have our documentation website online and a blog where we post tips and tricks for the plugin as well as notes about new versions. This video can be found on our video page where you may find older videos like the overview from YAS last year. Please sign up for the newsletter or for trial license on our website. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. On the website you also find a video to explain how to install the plugin and get started. Thank you for watching and see you next year on a real conference.